What's up guys, this is Unbrave Gaming Hardcore and we are here to talk about my first week using a Windows Mixed Reality headset and I'm gonna answer most of the common questions on Windows Mixed Reality headset based on my first week of screwing around with it. Like, is it as good as the Vibe or Oculus? Or is there enough games or content for Windows Mixed Reality headsets? And what should you know before buying one? Yeah, that's the most important part. All that I'm gonna answer right after the intro. Okay, first up, is it as good as the Vive or Oculus? Based on my experience, I've used both of the Vive and Oculus, and in terms of images you see in the headset, the Windows Mixed Reality headset is slightly better, but not that much. And the only thing that separates this headset aside from the resolution are the price, the exclusive games, and the tracking of the motion controllers. Which is... In this Mixed Reality controllers, it does lose positional tracking when you can't see the controllers. And it affects games that requires you to do a kind of movement that you can't see the controller like if you're getting something from your waist or reloading a shotgun. Thankfully, you can fix all that by looking at what you're doing. And yeah, I almost forgot. Using a bow and arrow is weird because you can't use a bow and arrow fully because you can't pull the arrow fully without looking at both of the controllers. So what I do is use the bow and arrow in front of my face. Which is awkward, but it works. But still, I want to use it like from the side. But I can't, because I can't look at both of my controllers while aiming. So, that's my honest opinion about the controllers. It definitely has problems, but it works for the most part. Okay, next one. Is there enough games or content for Windows Mixed Reality headsets? Yes, there is a lot of games for Windows Mixed Reality headsets. Because most of the Vibe and Oculus games is slightly being supported on Windows Mixed Reality headset. And most of the future games is going to be. Because there's a lot more people that can buy Windows Mixed Reality headset compared to Oculus and Vibe. Because those are expensive headsets. Okay, so. But for the most part in terms of the games, the quality is not there. You get my point, right? Shitty graphics and below average gameplay. But fortunately, there are actually a decent amount of games with very good gameplay like Beat Saber, Space Pirate Trainer, The Lab, which is free. And I would like to mention that there's actually a decent amount of free games and VR experiences that you can get, so it's fun. But you have to remember that VR is still on its early stages, so let's see what happens. Okay, for the last one, what should you know before buying a Windows Mixed Reality headset? Okay, let's start with the most important thing to know before buying a Windows Mixed Reality headset. Which is, the headset should fit your eye. Or rather, you have the right IPD for the headset. So what I would recommend is to test the headset thoroughly first before buying. Because you have to really feel comfortable when you're looking at the lenses. And it's very important, I repeat, Make sure the Windows Mixed Reality headset fits your eye, okay? Don't buy online and not testing it. Test it first. But, if you're buying the Samsung Odyssey Windows Mixed Reality headset, just ignore what I just said. Because the Samsung one has a physical IPD adjustment so it can easily fit your eye. But it's a bit pricier than the other Windows Mixed Reality headset with no hardware IPD adjustment what else uh, the recommended system requirement to run apps and games make sure you have it check it online because most of the stuff that you will run is not optimized and it's better to have more GPU power than just having enough that's my two cents guys that's it guys that's my Opinions on Windows Mixed Reality headset. Hope you guys are not triggered. <laughs> like, subscribe, and this is Andre of Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.